Good. Are you ready to learn scripture? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, who can open our um, teaching by pray? Who can pray for us? Me. 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 Uh, okay. God, thank you for this day. God, we love you. Open our eyes, open our ears, open our everything. God, thank you for everything. You gave us everything. We hope uh, you uh, help us. And in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. God bless you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, we're going to be giving you turn by turn to read the scriptures, what you have studied. And so before that, today you know that Pastor Jason is not here and I'm trying to substitute him and I will share you very important scripture from the Bible. Is that okay? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Okay. Um, you guys have already have your verses? Yes. Okay. Okay, who can read first? Okay, Bob. Psalm 118, verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy lasts forever. Amen. Psalm 104, verse 23. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as well as I live. Yeah. I can just go to high but I know. Proverbs 3 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lend not to your own understanding. Amen. All Father in heaven, holy name, kingdom come. You'll be the Lord of Ask and Heaven. Go on today to food to me. Go to the Go for us and again, the Scott West. Now it's a change of butter and wash from evil. Cheers and keep the power going forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> First John chapter 8, verse. First John chapter 8, verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. Colossians chapter 1, verse 3. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Thank you. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, His love endures forever. Psalm 108, verse 1. Blessed are the a meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew 5, verse 5. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is there anything too hard for me? Yes. Proverbs 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despite wisdom and in my instruction. God is good to all time. Yes. I will be forever. Okay, good. Um, so we're going to be sharing one important um, 
biblical concept from the Bible, and I'm going to share you that part. This is found in the book of uh, Matthew, um, Luke, chapter 10, chapter 10, book of Luke. Everybody has to turn your Bible onto that page where you can find that verse. Book of Luke. I expect that you guys are, you have come with your Bible, right? And we expect everybody to come with the Bible every Sunday. Because this is the place where you learn about and who your God is, okay? So don't forget to bring your Bible, okay? Look, when you go to school, when you go to school, you learn maths, English, science, and different other things, right? And you pay attention to what the teacher says and you learn everything what they gave you, right? You don't only play, talk, gaming, or anything. You choose the good thing of the school, right? That is learning from what your teacher tells you to learn, right? Good. And the same as here in church. What do you learn about? What do you take the good part of the church? Well, Jesus Christ, number one. That's good. Yep. Amen. Praising God. The Bible. Yes. What else? Yes. Believing in God. You know, we believe because we read Bible, we pray, and we learn. Yes. Trust God because He is with us. That's what He's saying. Okay. That is good. Is there anyone who has got something more? What do we choose here? We choose God whenever we come to church. It, there, there is a chance to play around. There may be a chance to play gaming. Maybe a chance to see some apps on the phone. All of these are not priority. The priority when we come to church is to choose God. Right? To be with God. Fellowship with God. You got what I'm saying? Okay. Let's go to the verse that we have on the Bible. That is book. Look book. Book. Luke 10, chapter 10, verse 38. Do you have it? Somebody has got it? Okay. Okay, but. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I wish thee look upon my son. Luke, chapter 10. Verse 38, okay. Upon my son, for he is my, my only son. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me read it from my Bible. Okay, Luke chapter 10. And this scripture specifically tells us about what to choose. Here it is affirms and it stresses on choosing God. Nothing else. When we come to church, it is not about walking around, running around, talking with friends. It's not about anything else. Whenever we come to church, our priority and our preference and our choice should be God. Is that okay? Because the Bible says in the book of Matthew there, if two and or more of you are gathered in my name, I will be a midst of you. Is that okay? Is that clear to you? Yes. And if you are gathered in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus is always with you. Okay? Now we have God is with us. God is with us. So whenever we have God with us, we have to pay attention to him and tell him what is our internal feelings. Like, God, I need your help. Make me a smart student. Make me understand you and bless me. Bless my daddy. Bless my mommy. And keep me strong to study what I learned in school, to perform in everything up to be an excellent student. You pray all these things when you get God. Is that okay? Is that clear? Okay, let me read the verse from that section. So here it says, chapter 10, look, the book of Luke, chapter 10, um, number 38. Now, um, I'm just looking for a Bible with bigger font, so I'm sorry about that. 
that one is way too small for me. So, okay, your choice today, what is a good choice that you have today? God. To talk to God, God, talking to God, okay. Um, Okay, 38. Now it came to pass, as they went, they had that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. Did he get that word? She received him in her house. That person name is Martha. And Martha has a sister. Her Mary. name is Mary. Good, good. In 39 it says, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, don't, have, don't thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone. Bid her, therefore, that she help me. Okay. Here, when Jesus walked walking around the village of the Jewish people, he found one Christian sister. Her name is Martha. And Martha has her, her sister, and her name is Mary. Mary. Somebody was cumbered or burdened about serving or hospitality of Jesus. Who was that? Martha. Martha. Martha was about focusing on making coffee preparing food for Jesus Christ. But Mary was sitting next to the foot of Jesus Christ. And what was she looking for? Yep. She was looking for learning word of God being on the foot of Jesus Christ. Is that what I'm saying? Is that clear? Clear? Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of things to be done. Martha preferred something to prepare food, make coffee, or do some other drinks for Jesus Christ. That's what she has been interested in. But Mary was interested to learn from who? From Jesus Christ. To learn God. To learn about the word of God from him. So just the way Mary did, whenever we come to church, we have to be choosing to learn something from Having fellowship with God. Because that means when your teacher is coming to teach you or taking you to that class and when she teaches you, you have to listen. Because God is speaking through that person to you. You got what I'm saying? Okay, guys. Um, so let me finish it. And Martha, you are worried and bothered about the so many things, but only one thing is necessary for Mary has chosen the good part. You see that? You don't need a lot of things, but Mary has chosen one thing very important. What is that? Learning from him, from God. That's what she chose. Um, she wanted and bothered about many things, but only one thing is necessary for Mary has chosen the good part which shall not be taken away from her. Hallelujah. Alrighty. Um, here, the message being, there were two sisters. One was focusing on socialization and provision of something not so much important. And the other one was paying attention to the thing which is very important. Like, whenever you come to the church on Sundays, God wants you to learn something from him, not about food, because your mama makes a better food than what is given here, right? Yeah, but here, when we are, whenever we come to church, we have to be able to learn from God, okay? Yeah, learning the word of God, being sitting next by the foot of the Lord. Is that clear? Okay, so I choose to learn from God. Whenever I come to church, I choose the good part. That good part is learning the word of God. Is that clear? God bless you guys. 
And that's what we have for today. And I want someone to pray for us, and then we go to our class. Um, Thank you, God, for our day. Thank you, God, for giving us the great thing you gave us. Thank you, God, for being with us in our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.